the spring framework as well java as well then uh, a discussion about the system designing as well so that was okay. the third round. Uh, hi all uh, we are back with uh, episode 3 of uh, placement stock and today we have with us deepika uh, who is currently working at paypal as an sd3 so uh, we welcome uh, deepika so can you please introduce yourself over to you sure. thanks for uh, welcoming me on your channel so uh, right now i'm working in paypal as a sd3 and uh, like before that i was working in service based company and a product based company as well so as of all i have uh, 8 plus years of experience and uh, like uh, basically majorly like i worked on uh, uh, java spring frameworks and hibernate frameworks so mm -hmm. like this is my, my part about the paypal and like we will talk about more about the like the paypal culture and other things yeah yeah that's great to hear eight plus years is pretty uh long into the in industry so yeah we want to know about how you got this opportunity and what were the interview rounds at paypal for sd3 okay so how did i hear about this opportunity so basically uh, during the last year around uh, in the month of uh, uh, september or october so i was looking for a job change and uh, like i was actually jobless for around 3 months um, so i was okay. like uh, i was desperately looking for a, a job change and uh, during okay. that like i was mainly applying from the linkedin or from the insta hire so okay. on insta hire i saw an op uh, like opening for the paypal and i uh, apply for there then i got a mail for the hacker and test so i know uh, that's the first round um, that's a kind of you can say the scrutiny round uh, they take a online hacker and test based on that they sort list the students after okay. that uh, uh, around september or october i got the test and i completed it on the same day okay. but after, uh, after that i did not hear back anything uh, like from the paper around two okay. or three months yeah so if i talk about only the opportunity so i hear it from the insta hire and i applied to it okay so you have used insta hire yes great and uh, so what were the uh, the next set of interview rounds so first was hacker and test that you mentioned and, uh, that uh, talks about uh, data structure and algorithm part mainly so okay. we would be having around two or three questions depending on the time and how quickly you can solve the questions so okay. after that uh, that was a second round third round would be around a mix and match round where mm -hmm. it depends on the interview completely so in paypal okay. uh, there is no separate um, system designing round like in few okay. the there is a one okay. complete uh, one hour of uh, interview discussion about the system design but okay. in paper i have not seen that uh, maybe it depends on the candidates also because i have heard from few of the candidates as well for the sd3 also that they have some round for the system designing as well for me uh, the third round was a technical round in which they covered about the spring framework as well java as well then uh, a discussion about the system designing as well so that was okay. the third round after clearing the third round uh, there was an managerial round that we say so okay. it is not a technical one it's the kind of mm -hmm. you can say the behavioral one that uh, they see about that how um, matching your other team fit wrong so manager okay. asks about your projects or your previous organizations and why are you leaving about the mm -hmm. like locations and these things so it's a kind okay. of a general round uh, just to be comfortable to the candidates and yeah okay. after that um, uh, roll out by the hr okay great <laughs> great so uh, the next question that uh, we will be asking is uh, if you want to share uh, anything strange that happened uh, as part of your interview okay so for with me the strange thing was that like uh, i applied in the paypal uh, around mm -hmm. september or october i gave my hacker and test okay. but after that uh, um, like recently also some recession is going on in the it and uh, during yeah. the last day it was on the peak so i did not okay. hear back anything around uh, two months uh, from uh, okay. about the test result even then okay. in around january i uh, heard back uh, from the paper that your test is cleared and we would like to invite you for the next rounds okay. <clears throat> and uh, i was told by the hr that uh, uh, they are hiring for the two positions because mm -hmm. there were very less positions open in the market at the time and yeah. i was also looking for the job change and uh, that chair said there is a very urgent position if you can clear the interviews uh, in one day only then we mm -hmm. can roll out the offer on the same day okay uh, basically uh, the next day and then okay. i cleared the all of the three rounds in the same day and uh, i was waiting for my offer roll out okay. for uh, after that uh, what happened like i uh, connected with hr after two days uh, it was saturday and sunday in the between so i waited mm -hmm. for saturday sunday and then i uh, call hr that what's about the offer roll out and i came to know that uh, uh, like the positions was already filled and uh, oh. like and the hr uh, told me that they will again like uh, contact you for the um, yes. openings and okay. i was completely heartless at that time because i have not yeah. heard back anything like at that this was a time of the recession definitely right and very less positions in the market right then uh, but yeah it's a good thing about the paypal after 10 mm. 15 days back only uh, 
after 10 15 days hr again called me and they told me that there's a opening but it's for the different team so okay. if you would like to if you if you want to go to the same team for which your interview has happened so that would be opening after the two months or the three months uh, so mm -hmm. if you want to the same team but if you are also comfortable with the other team Mm -hmm. So we can conduct the more interviews, like one or two technical round, because that's for a different team. So the manager would be the different. Okay. Definitely, there would be the one round less, like the first round would not be there, but the second and third round would be happen again. So yeah, so I gave again second and the third round, and I again cleared okay. it. So mm -hmm. yeah, after that, like I got my offer letter in uh, around starting of February, and the twentieth of February around was my joining date in paper. Uh, Twenty three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So. Actually, interview happened two times for you. For yeah, it happened two times for me, and uh, it was also like I was also nervous that uh, once I have cleared the interview, but it totally depends on the interviewer also and your day yeah. also. Yeah. So there's right. a confidence also, but there is some fear factor also that would be selected or not. But yeah, right. interview well, and uh, yeah, I again cleared the interviews. Yeah, great. Yeah, that was really <laughs> strange thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. Good. About it is that like uh, um, they do not actually ghosted. Uh, mm -hmm. They are being called by, uh, and in fact, like I got the call from multiple uh, HRs, uh, like from the different okay. team HRs in the paper itself. So okay. at the time, I think the openings were more. So they were mm -hmm. calling because they were seeing that like uh, how many students are there for the standby positions. So I got in fact two three calls from the different teams HRs, and in fact I attended uh, different team interviews as well. So okay. yeah. They actually called back. I did not believe this thing that they will call back, but they are called. Okay, great. Yeah. So uh, the next question that we will be uh, going through is: What are the roles and responsibilities of an SD three as a generic, uh, as an industry level? Maybe you can tell us. About. So as for the roles and responsibility, uh, so first of all, like uh, uh, here in the paper, uh, how is the designations? So the SD one, then SD two, then SD three, then MTS positions. So for uh, and uh, we work under the uh, same manager. So in our team, okay. if you are SD one, you are SD two and SD three. So there okay. is not uh, like in the in some of the organization, what happens like there is software engineer and senior software, then comes the team lead. And under the team mm -hmm. lead, there is a hierarchy of senior software engineer and the software engineer. But here, okay. like we work independently, uh, and okay. our manager like uh, is only like reporting manager for us. So okay. as a roles and responsibility, so uh, whenever any of the requirements come from any of the like customers. So mm -hmm. we have given the full requirement. So then mm -hmm. we have to analyze it first that uh, like how much time will it take to complete it. Even okay. like, what would be the changes that we need to do to uh, complete that. Then okay. uh, about the technical things, we have to basically um, independently complete it. We can take help from the team members if we do not know about anything. But mm -hmm. the same task is assigned completely to the one engineer. If the okay. task is like uh, very like complex, so you can say and the time bandwidth we need to deliver it is less. So uh, we can include two or more engineers as well, but mainly it happens with the one engineer only. Then okay. uh, we implement it. Uh, we create the test cases of it. Uh, we design the LLD diagrams of it, HLD diagram of it. So there is a central repository conference where we maintain all of the documents. Once uh, the <clears throat> so we have a sprint cycle of uh, two weeks. So okay. at the last we give the demo that that we have basically done in the uh, ten days. First mm -hmm. we give internal demo uh, okay. after uh, all of the test cases and all are completely done. Once it passes to the demo by the product managers and the manager, then nice. there is an external demo also happens. That happens okay. between the different teams. So it okay. goes by like uh, this way. And once it is like all proof and uh, like approved by all, then we release mm -hmm. it. And release process is also like done by us only. So there is no tester uh, here that who does the uh, separate testing. We do the testing itself by running mm -hmm. the test cases, isolated test cases. And then we uh, itself do the deployment. So there is no separate kind of DevOps team who does the deployment. So end-to-end -end process we do uh, here in PayPal. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah. That that was great. Uh, so also like Deepika, uh, you also have a YouTube channel, right? So yeah. can you uh, tell us our audience more about that? What it what it is about, and uh, since when you have started that? Uh, so yes, I have recently started my YouTube channel. The channel name is Coding with Deepika, and mm -hmm. in that channel, uh, the basically reason behind to start this channel because like on LinkedIn, I am like kind of an active user on the LinkedIn. So okay. uh, I like to help students. I started my journey in 2016, and now like I'm working in PayPal. So my like complete journey is still now very ups and downs. So a lot of students ask me about my journey and ma'am what we should do, and I like to guide the students basically. 
and okay. there is one more point that i want to highlight i have seen that like uh, um, there are the students like i have like um, recently talked with many students that yeah. they have any like less finances in their hand but uh, they opt the courses like by different institutions yeah. or and their charges very uh, high from them so right. like a very like painful point that when i heard back because it happened with me also so that's why yeah. i thought guide students from my knowledge that i have so i started this channel around two okay. a week two months back and uh, okay. recently like i'm posting content of system designing there and uh, like resume building whatever okay. like i feel like it's useful for the students okay yeah. great so it's it's a initiative for uh, freshers and for the job seekers who are in, who are preparing for interviews basically yeah i i started it for the fresher initially but uh, okay. gradually like whatever i feel because now i'm getting the request for the um development skills uh, videos as well system okay. designing videos as well so gradually okay. like i'm uh, creating all of the videos okay great great so yeah we will also put uh, the link to the pikas channel in the description so yeah so going uh, to our next question how mm -hmm. is the work culture at paypal uh, if you talk about that so paypal work culture is very uh, good uh, if we say about any of the product based company so i have found that all of the like product based company have a good culture uh here like uh, uh, any of the things like any of the new requirements come any of the feature that we want to implement that doesn't come like uh, uh, just to call with the client and then just do the implementation it goes right. with the approvals and many stages and right. it's a kind of uh, it's not like this that we have to sit the all over night so my team mm -hmm. especially my manager and my 70% teams work from the us regions and in the us okay. also you know like there are the two or three regions time zones right. uh, so like it's a uh, uh, like coordination is also very um, good Uh, I also got some work by uh, like the US team also, so I have to coordinate with them. But uh, my manager is also very supportive, uh, mm. and uh, like he doesn't want that uh, in the IST zone if you are working. So we have to sit back late in the night. So according mm. to that, we also have team meetings and other things. And on timely basis, apart than the like the these uh, technical works, we have time to time the training sessions as well. Anybody could attend that, like kind of the Java and the Python and uh, these things. that okay. of, uh, like uh, other training session who can attend any uh, time and upgrade their skills there are few cultural activities as well many clubs there that anybody could join recently there was a hackathon also so as of all okay. the culture is good yeah and uh, okay. as of now like we are working virtually uh, because mm -hmm. like, uh, my 70% team is in us uh, okay. whenever like, we feel that if um, everybody is near in india so we okay. once in a go to the office and we celebrate kind okay. that okay yeah. great we also want to know uh, how did you manage your time uh, preparing for paper when you were already into a job right so many questions uh, like many people ask these questions yeah so it it may actually it becomes difficult while you are working in an organization and to like prepare because yeah. nowadays um, um, data structure and algorithm is the first round and uh, like in day to day life uh, we do not use that much data structure like graph and trees so it's very right. like necessary to revise all of the things and brush up all yeah. of the things so what i used to do uh, like uh, for the preparation perspective i joined some of the communities on discord mm -hmm. for that like we used to having uh, discussion session for the system designing then yeah. i preferably uh, give time in the in my mornings because around mm -hmm. if you are starting your day around 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock so what happens sometimes um, we see this thing that we will do it in the evening but in the evening we have a lot of like kind of due to the work uh, on the office mm -hmm. Um, like mine got very like basically stuck and we are not able to prepare anything so that thing i have implemented i used to wake up early in the morning and okay. around uh, i have make a schedule of at least doing two questions of uh, data structures and then quick brush up of the java and the system is according to my work schedules so preferably okay. like i would say um, like if you are preparing for the interviews so uh, like uh, do it before starting your day of the office okay yeah. then okay. there are a few like kind of uh, blogs as well uh, sometimes uh, master classes also happen uh, in the yeah. week uh, on saturday sunday so i yeah. attend some of the master classes also that helps okay. me to understand system designing more better and uh, okay. in the office also i used to discuss few things with my teammates as well um, okay. yeah but uh, do it with a caution yeah, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> great so those were great tips actually so now at the end uh, we want to know uh, if you have any message to our audience who are basically preparing for paypal or uh, or basically sd3 role right so yeah so for paypal i would say first of all uh, what i have seen because when i was preparing for the interview so i have given uh, interviews in the amazon also in the microsoft as well and a few other product based companies as well what i found right. is this like uh, i found paypal interviews as a moderate level interview 
So okay. uh, no, let's suppose if I take the example of the data structure only. So in the data structure yeah. also, I found this thing that I was asked a graph question and I was mm -hmm. not aware of that graph technology, uh, graph like uh, basically the methods that what is exactly name of that method that we want to implement. But okay. I knew the way basically that I knew the logic it that uh, how right. we can do it like kind of shortest path or you can say um, right. the tasks are aligned. So what I did, right. I was not able to answer it uh, in the code language, but I was able to communicate with my interviewer that yes, this can be solved by in this way. And interviewers right. were also like uh, satisfied. So I have seen this thing. If you are not able to basically uh, give a foolproof solution on pen and paper, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you are able to uh, communicate your thought process with the interviewer, right. so right. for that you have to think out loud, and you mm -hmm. you did not need to fear from the interviewer that he, like basically he would what he would think. But what are you thinking? You should communicate uh, very well. So that helped me in okay. the interview first of all. Second thing, <clears throat> so interview level is a quite a medium level lead code medium questions. If you mm -hmm. are able to solve it, then mm -hmm. I think you can easily crack the interview. Second okay. thing. Um, like uh, you have to understand uh, and like read about your basics very well. Like if you are writing in your mm -hmm. resume, uh, and that is generic for all of the interview, not for the paper. Like if I'm right. writing, um, I am working on Java from last seven years, so I should yes. know Java uh, proper, right. like uh, which is the latest version of Java. Like in in those things, I cannot do the mistakes. That is like basically not done for the interview perspective. And then yeah, right. system design also for an SD three. We are around six to seven year, seven eight years old. So definitely, we should have knowledge about the system designing as well, like high level designs. Right. So right. these are some of the things. And uh, yeah, I would say that don't pressure too much. I know the market is not good, but I nowadays yeah. I'm seeing the hiring post on the LinkedIn yeah. as well. So I think soon there would be a good market. And yeah. the interview level is uh, like medium level. So mm -hmm. relax and uh, just give the interview. Yeah yeah right right so from your message i think uh, one is confidence second is uh, you should be very thorough in your basics yeah. third is basically uh, uh, i forgot so you also mentioned about uh, think out loud right whatever yes. whatever yes. you are if uh, if you are not able to solve think out loud basically yes. uh, yeah so yeah those are very great tips uh, for any uh, interview so yeah so thank you deepika for for being with us uh, in our episode three of placements talk so yeah thank you thank you gaurav and thank you all who will be going to watch this video uh check out the gaurav channel it's very good i have also a subscriber of his channel and if you get time uh, so you can also check out my channel as well and uh, we both would be like um, working towards the community to help students and if anything you can you can connect me over the linkedin uh, i'm easily approachable on the linkedin i would like to answer if there would be any query and thank you gaurav for uh, uh, inviting me on the channel Thank you, Deepika. Nice yeah. talk.